morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time of the day you are watching this video. Um, firstly, I wanted to thank you for making some time out of your busy day to watch this video. I know that we are all incredibly busy with work, school life, social life, family life, um, you know, everything that's coming at us all at once, right? And out of all of that, you have managed to make time to watch this video. So I'm honestly humbled, privileged, and honored to share this video with you. Um, and that aside, I hope you as an individual are coping and doing well. My name is Kwaku Danso. I've grown up in Stratford, East London all of my life with my mum and my two older brothers. My heritage is actually from West Africa in a place called Ghana, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Um, so my parents are from Ghana, Accra, and I've managed to go there maybe six times in my life. I do want to go there a lot more often, but during these difficult times, it's difficult to travel anywhere, right? <laughs> so I guess we're, we have to stay here. Um, as I said, I was born in London and I have gone to school in London. I've gone to university in London as well. And I also work in London right now. And I, some of the things I loved doing growing up was playing table tennis. I loved playing football. I loved socializing. And I absolutely loved listening to music. It might sound like a very long time ago, but it feels like just yesterday. Um, 20 years ago, I went to a primary school called Maryland Primary School, which was in um, Stratford, East London. And some of the subjects that I enjoyed doing when I was in primary school was maths, geography, um, religious education, and definitely physical education, PE, because we had the opportunity to, again, play some table tennis, uh, we played football, we played rounders. Um, so it was just an opportunity to really have fun with my mates when we were in primary school. And then as I grew older, went off to secondary school. I went to a place called Tom Hood, which is in Leytonstone, again, in East London. And again, some of the subjects that I enjoyed doing was maths. I always enjoyed doing maths from when I was in primary school. I enjoyed doing IT a lot. Um, I also enjoyed course PE still had the opportunity to socialize um, and you know play games with friends when I was doing PE and drama drama was an absolutely amazing subject because you just had the opportunity to try and act and dance and sing although I couldn't sing to save my life um, I thought I think back then I thought I was probably Will Smith <laughs> you know really trying to act as if I was in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air but yeah, my acting career didn't go well. <laughs> so as I came towards the end of my time at Tom Hood Secondary School, of course, we have to do our GCSE exams, right? Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a good grade in English language and these things, these things happen, you know? Um, and because of that, I couldn't do A-levels. And there were certain subjects I wanted to do when I was going into college, but unfortunately, because I didn't get a good grade, when I was in secondary school, this had a knock-on effect. And these things do happen in life. Not everything goes the way we want them to. So when I went to college, I'd done a BTEC in business studies and I had the opportunity to also resit my English language exam. So as I resit my English language exam, fortunately I managed to pass um, and I also managed to get a really good grade. When I finished my BTEC, I managed to get triple distinction, which is one of the highest grades you can get when doing a BTEC in the United Kingdom. So I was incredibly happy with the grade that I got. And I thought to myself, that's, that's kind of it for me. You know, I've gone through doing many, many years of education, being, being in the education system. And I kind of just wanted to stop and just work, just earn money, just move out, live by myself, just do me, you know? Um, but my mum had other ideas. <laughs> Uh, my mum my mom definitely wanted myself and my brothers to go to university so um, you know that was that was quite a difficult time for me because I really did not want to go to university I, I didn't think that I could do another three years of education of just you know doing textbooks and learning and you know without without having any real passion for learning you know, so it was it was a really, really difficult time for me. I had to make some choices, I had to make some decisions. Um, I've done a lot of research because I wanted to see what is the benefit of me actually going to university. Is it going to benefit me when I go off into the workplace? 
Am I going to get, you know, real life experience? Am I going to become more knowledgeable? So these are some of the, some of the things which were going crazy <laughs> in my head, you know? Um, and I came to the conclusion that university definitely does help. You know, it does allow you to gain a lot of independence, which is needed. It allows you to um, really deep dive into certain subjects that you don't know about, that you don't learn, of course, in, in college. And a lot of these subjects do allow you to, to learn a lot more in university and use that information, use that education, use that learning, learning experience as, as leverage when you go into the working place. Um, and I only know this now because I'm now in the working place, you know, so university definitely did benefit me. And but that was a huge obstacle that I was facing. Really didn't want to go, really did not want to go. I'll tell you that from the bottom of my heart, but it's one of the best decisions I ended up making. On from college, I went off to the University of Westminster, which is based in Baker Street, West London where I studied business management, which was a great lead on course from what I was doing previously, um, which was business studies. So I had the opportunity when I was at university to expand my knowledge and broaden my knowledge on you know, finance, accounting, human resources, travel and tourism. So it was, it was great because there is, there's a lot of independent learning that you have to do for yourself. So you, know, you wouldn't have a tutor constantly on your back asking you, where, where is your where is your work? You wouldn't have a teacher doing that at all. A lot of it is independent. You have to give in your assignments on time. You have to show up for your exams, of course. And again, I, I stress that it's independent because nobody is going to chase you. Whether whether that's a good or a bad thing, take it as you wish. But, you know, it's, it's a very, very independent road and you really, really do have to apply yourself when you are in university. Here's the another great thing about going to university is that you get the opportunity to know yourself more and get to know what you enjoy doing, you get to know what you don't enjoy doing and that's aside from the educational aspect of things, right? So when I was in uni, I started um, retail. So I was working in, in everyone's favorite clothing retail store, which is none other than Primark. <laughs> So I realized I do not like retail. <laughs> um, and I was also working in Superdry. Um, so I'd done two years at Primark and in, and in one year at Superdry. So I, you know, I realized I didn't enjoy um, retail at all, but I was working there just to get a bit more income as you do when you are in university. Um, I started going to the gym as well. So that's something that I really, really did enjoy doing. But my most memorable experience was when I went off to Ghana. I went to a remote village called and I was teaching the kids geography there and that allowed me to realize that I absolutely love learning I love seeing people benefit from from knowledge and being educated and learning something completely new right and if I didn't go to university I wouldn't have had that experience so in that regard university definitely helped me out a lot it allowed me to realize things that I like things that I don't like and it allowed me to realize what I would love to do in the future as well, which is something within learning and development or training and development, just as long as people are benefiting from something that you're putting out there. So finishing university, I was incredibly eager to just get into something within learning and development or training and development. Um, so I was applying for jobs and sadly I didn't get into the field that I would have wanted, but I think this is just one of those life lessons, right? Um, sometimes you just don't get it really what you ask for. Um, and I realized that everything is a step in the right direction. So when I left university, I was working for a self-storage company called Big Yellow Self Storage. I was working there for two years as a customer service advisor. And then I moved on to work for the British Safety Council, which is the Health and Safety Council for the United Kingdom. They also got a huge presence in India. I was working within their training operations team. Now I wanted something more aligned to training, learning and development. So it was a great opportunity to really learn a bit more about the training industry. So I was there for two years managing two e-learning portals in relation to risk assessments. I mean, not the most stimulating thing, but it was still a step in the right direction. Now when working at the British Safety Council, it got to a point where I wanted something a lot bigger. I wanted to work for one of the biggest industries in the world. Um, but I didn't feel as though I was credible enough. I didn't feel as though I was good enough. Maybe because I came from a 
public school or you know because I was on private school educated growing up on an estate in East London and you know some people in the workforce they wouldn't exactly be like yourself you know you, you have a very unique background which is different to a lot of other people who you will be interacting with but I had a lot of these thoughts going on in my head and I just felt as though maybe I wouldn't fit in one of these big industries but I didn't want that to hold me back so I was applying for jobs left right and center and fortunately I managed to work for one of the biggest companies in the world actually one of the biggest tech companies in the world as a learning and development coordinator and that is none other than Google and as you can tell I love lanyards and I got this lanyard when I was doing a project out in um, New York City so I was working as a learning and development coordinator so the bulk of my role was to give a Google welcome to all of the new starters who joined so that was on Monday Wednesday and Friday so all the individuals all the new starters they would come in for their orientation day and I would be the individual who runs the orientation day for all of the new starters now COVID has been a difficult time for everybody right you had a lot of people who have been furloughed a lot of people who've lost their jobs and the thing is with my role at Google it was very face to face so I could potentially see that my job was going to be made redundant because I kind of understood the market I understood what was going on so that triggered me to start looking for something different and you may be wondering what is what, what is this lanyard around your neck and this lanyard is the black employee network lanyard and it's one of the many communities that my current workplace has so I work for Amazon Web Services which is a cloud computing platform um, it's a subsidiary of Amazon retail and I work with a training and certification team as a training operations specialist. So what my responsibility is, is to understand um, a company, understand an individual and see what sort of career paths they would like to go down. And off the back of that information, I would create them a tailored training plan, um, recommending them different classes, different courses to go on. And it should align them with the direction that they want to go into and actually um, receive accredited certification for their role. So as you can tell, you just don't go from zero to hero, right? You don't go from zero to a hundred. Everything is a process and in life, literally everything is a process. So now, you know, I've gone through the process of being in school, going to college, going to university, gaining experience in retail, um, doing amazing trips abroad, and it's allowed me to, you know, realize what I enjoy doing. And I wanted to make sure that my career is aligned to something that I enjoy doing. So, yeah, here I am today working for one of the biggest tech companies in the world within training and certification. So, it's, it's amazing. Um, so, I would just encourage you to keep on going. I would encourage you to discover definitely what your why is, what you enjoy doing, what gets you, you know, what gets you excited. What do people say that you're, that you're good at? What would you want to do? In the future so these are some of the questions that i would encourage you to definitely start thinking about and just start to create steps in order to get to where you want to be in future um, thank you so much for watching god bless stay safe and i hope to see you all soon